we can create this quiz using Flutter and Firebase. We have already created videos on how to install Flutter and create the project. The link is in the description. We first create a Firebase project and a database, as we have already demonstrated in a previous video, the link is provided in the description. Next, create a collection with the name Quizzes. This is the structure of the database. Collection name Quizzes. Add a document with the name Quiz ID 1. Add fields. First, add the title field with the data type as a string and the value as quiz1. Next, add the questions field as an array to store multiple questions. Inside questions, Create a map for each question. Add the first question text. Include options as an array for the multiple options of the question. We will add options later. Create a field correct option index with the data type as a number. Add three options. Include the correct answer index, which, in this case, is index 1. Repeat this process for each question, creating a map for each. Add a total of 5 questions and options for this project, starting from index 0. If you need another quiz, add a new document and follow the same structure. Later, we will create a video demonstrating how to add quizzes via a web interface. Next, open the pubspec.yaml file and add three dependencies, Firebase Core, Cloud Firestore, and Provider. The first two are for accessing the database, and the third, Provider is a state management solution. Create a new directory named model. Inside that directory, create a model file and name it quiz underscore model dot dart. Create a question class within this file. Declare three variables, question text, options, and correct option index. Question text is a string, options is a string array, and correct option index is an integer. Now, create a constructor. Next, create a quiz class. It should contain two variables, a string variable called title and a list of questions. Now, create a constructor. Create another directory named services. Add a Dart file inside that directory and name it quiz underscore service. Import cloud underscore Firestore. This package is used to retrieve questions from Firebase. Then import the quiz underscore model dot dart file. Create a class named quiz service. Then, create a static method named get quiz data that returns a future quiz. It takes a string quiz ID as a parameter. Use Firebase Firestore to fetch the document snapshot of a quiz with the specified quiz ID. Create a quiz object using the data extracted from the quiz snapshot. Then iterate through the list of questions in the quiz snapshot, creating a question object for each question. 
Finally, the method returns the created quiz object. Next, create fProviders directory. Inside that directory, create a new Dart file and name it quiz underscore service dot Dart. Import the, the material dot Dart and quiz underscore model dot Dart files into the quiz underscore service dot Dart file. Then, create a class quiz provider with change notifier within quiz underscore service dot Dart. Change notifier is a fundamental part of Flutter's state management mechanism, providing a way to propagate state changes through the widget tree. Declare four variables. First, declare a quiz variable with the data type as the quiz class we created earlier. Then, declare three integer variables, current index, correct answer, and selected option. Each of them is used to store appropriate data. Next, create four getters. These getters allow other parts of the application to access the current quiz, the index of the current question, the count of correct answers, and the selected option. Then create another getter for checking the quiz is complete. Then declares a method named setQuiz that takes a single parameter of type quiz named quiz underscore quiz equals quiz. This line assigns the value of the quiz parameter to a private variable underscore quiz. It calls the notifyListeners method. In the context of Flutter and state management, this typically signals to any listening widgets that a change has occurred and they may need to rebuild. Then declare a method named setSelectedOption that takes a single parameter value of type int, nullable integer. Underscore selected option equals value. This line assigns the value of the value parameter to a private variable underscore selected option. Then call the notifyListeners method. Then create a method named AnswerQuestion. There is an outer if condition that checks if the selected option is not null. Inside this, there is an inner if statement that checks if selected option is equal to the correct option index of the current question in the quiz. If this condition is true, increment the correct answers variable, which presumably tracks the number of correct answers in the quiz. Then, increment the current index variable, presumably moving to the next question in the quiz. Next, check if the current index is not equal to the total number of questions in the quiz. If this condition is true, set the underscore selected option variable to null. This action is likely performed when moving to the next question, possibly resetting the selected option for the new question. Next, create a directory named screens. Inside the screens directory, create a Dart file named quiz underscore screen. Import these packages in the quiz screen file. Import package flutter slash material dot dart. Import package provider slash provider dot dart. Import quiz underscore provider dot dart. Import quiz underscore service dot dart. Import quiz underscore model dot dart. Create a stateless widget named quiz screen. Create another stateless widget quiz widget inside the same file. Return the quiz widget in the build function of the quiz screen widget. Return scaffold in the build function in quiz widget. Create an instance of the quiz provider class to manage the state. Future quiz service dot get quiz data quiz ID. The method takes a parameter quiz ID, which is likely used to identify or fetch a specific quiz. The builder parameter in the future builder widget is a callback function that defines what should be displayed based on the asynchronous snapshot state. It typically takes two parameters, context and snapshot. First, check if the asynchronous operation is still in progress, connection state dot waiting. If true, return a circular progress indicator, indicating that data is still being fetched. Check if it has an error or is null. Return an error text. 
The else block handles the successful case when the quiz data has been successfully retrieved. It converts the data to a quiz object, updates the state using quizprovider.setQuiz, quiz. and returns a quiz widget to display the UI based on the fetched quiz data. Create another quiz provider instance in quiz widget. Create app bar, body and scaffold. Add two text widgets inside column. Add a column that displays the radio buttons for options. Add an elevated button to move to the next question. Include an if condition to check if the quiz is complete. If the quiz is complete, move to the result page. To achieve this, we need to create a new result page. Import the material Dart package. Create a stateless widget named result page. We need to obtain some values from the quiz page. So we declare two variables. Create a constructor. Return a scaffold and display the results using the available variable values. Open quiz screen and import result page. Then navigate to the result page using the navigator.push function. Open main.dart. Initialize Firebase in void main. Import the provider package. Also, import quiz underscore provider.dart and quiz underscore screen.dart. Wrap my app with a multi-provider. Add a change notifier provider in the providers list. Include quiz provider in the create parameter. Call the quiz screen widget in the MyApp widget. Then run the app. The quiz is running. Select the option. Finally, the result is displayed. Thank you for watching.